Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here to the Bay Hill Invitational, where we're going to have ourselves a very good StarCraft match. In the bottom right hand corner playing as the Red Terran is Frana. Frana will be playing for the Team Maul. In the bottom left hand corner is your man Ash Browns. He is the breakfast we have come to know and love, and he will also be playing as a Terran. This should be a very good matchup as we do have two very polite opponents who are very high in their rankings of bronze to silver. Not entirely sure what rank they are as I was not paying attention during the loading screen. Today I will be enjoying myself a great big drink of Monster Energy Drink. It is brought to me by Dub Edition and it is the Baller's Blend as it says at the bottom. Punch energy with a boxing glove. Now that we have got out our great great drink of monster we will get it right into the game here where you can see the very good man of tom will be building up himself a supply depot building it very quickly is he over at the other end hash browns has his man timmy and timmy will be also be building a supply depot very well done all right everybody tractor shoots back and here we go with a little terran versus terran for thunderclap Thursday, the bottom right hand corner, which is way to hell over here, will be playing Frana for Team Maul. Very well done as he does have himself a barracks following up that supply depot. In the bottom left hand corner, the standard wall off for our favorite breakfast food we've come to know and love. And he's presented us with some great games. We will be hash browns. Hash browns and eggs and bacon soon, I bet. He is going to get himself up a nice little gas. There has himself the refinery pumping up. Refinery also pumping down for Frana. Very similar build so far. And the fact that Frana is not walling off like hash browns. I would like to correct myself from the last game on Red City. You can spawn in any location. I was thinking of Core Hall Sky, I think it's called. It looks somewhat similar, except for the great big red part in the middle. But that is the one where you were cross spawning. Not this one, so I do apologize. This one you can spawn wherever you want. So Ash Browns will eventually finish up. Early engineering bay, or somewhat early of an engineer bay. Going down for Frana, so very well done there. Does have a standing SCV working for Ash Browns. This one over here is hiding behind the gas, hoping the boss doesn't see him. Very well done there. The foreman boss standing over here has no idea this worker's having a little break back there. Must be the smoke pit as he has himself a mineral well over there too. Does have the old supply depot finishing up to finish that wall off. Marine finally comes out there taking a look at our apm tab is 2625 come to know and love it when people can keep it underneath 30 that way we know we're in for a treat taking a look at the production tab at the same time here we do have the engineering bay going down for frana the uh refinery is way over here that scv is still standing there and just marines coming out so nothing special so far out of hash browns he is going to move one of the scvs out going to start to get himself a scout off going to go completely the wrong way but that is quite fine and will eventually find frana frana going out the double engineering base so good to see some quick upgrades out of him here does already have ground uh weapon level one there so very well done there is getting himself out the orbital command so he is above average bronze league player so i do like to see that Ash Browns, on the other hand, is he actually set? Yes, he is just going to go all the way around the map there. So, will be a little while before he does get over to Frana. Frana does have himself a couple Marines out on the map at this point in time there. Orbital Command finishing up there. I do not believe an Orbital Command is out for Hash Browns. Oh, it is. He is just a lot quicker on it. Already has his Orbital Command out there. Does move it off there. Does look like Reactor will be his choice. He's going right into a factory. So, we are going with a 1-1-1 build. One of my favorite builds. Unless he's going into a heavy Widowmine build. We'll soon find out here. But I have to imagine Starport might be following that up there. Maybe to get himself uh, teched up into a little bit of Banshee for Harass or something like that. But we'll soon find out here. Fred, on the other hand, he is sticking to the barracks build which is what i like to see you know you're good at bronze when all you build is barracks and you just go for straight marines or something which i got a good feeling is what we're going to see here is he does have the upgrades just pounding out both of them are scouting the wrong way here so both of them will be somewhat even uh, as far as knowing what the opponent is doing over here it does look like the factory is lifting off here and not entirely sure where the factory is going but it is definitely lifting off. I can definitely tell you that much. The refinery has just finished up there. It is getting off there. Apparently, the factory is going to take the refinery. That does lead me to believe that Widow Mines are coming out. And I would almost be willing to bet my life savings on that one as he does attach it to the refinery. Should be the only reason that happens. Unless he's going to go into a Hellion. But Hellion TVT is not exactly the uh, most normal unit. But then again, these could not be the most normal players. So who knows what's going to happen there. SCV will be coming down for Hash Browns. It will get shot right on the spot there. So will not actually get any scouting off there. So that kind of sucks for him. But does see the expansion going down there. So that will help quite a bit. At least I think he does. And yes, he did see that going down there as you can see on the mini map. So very well done by Hash Browns. At the other end here, Frana is going to scout out here. We'll eventually get down, and he is going to run into a wall. So both these guys aren't going to get any scouting off. In fact, he will see the refinery. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I would like to correct myself. Apparently, we can see Hellion and T versus T. 
I am never surprised since I've started casting with my short-lived career. But anyways, we are actually going to get some aliens, and now I am very interested in this game. Let's get this jacked up, baby. Aliens are coming down. We're going to get ourselves a bunker. That is a very nice spot for a bunker. i like to see maybe a little bit further back, but it's not a bad spot at all there. Some people prefer it as the, to force the units to go around if they're going to go up the ramp, or most people put it over here so it can protect the, the mineral line at the same time there. So this is going to get very interesting. Uh, aliens aren't seen very often. The Hellbats are actually coming out as well, so very interesting build here. Where is he actually getting these hellbats out of here? Let's see. I gotta be halfway to blind here. Oh, you can. Oh, he did get the armory up. Sorry. I am very hellbat oblivious. I actually didn't know that. Okay, apparently you just get the armory out and then you can um, reactor out the hellbats. I should have actually known that, but I've never paid attention to how they're built. I just watched them being built and dropped in all the games I've watched. So there we go. There is getting another bunker over here. So very, very interesting by Frana. Really going for a heavily turtled up game here. Wow, three bunkers going down in his base here. He also is getting himself... Is this level 2 already? Wow. Level 2 for the uh, ground weapons. Combat shield finally coming out there. Getting a couple tech labs out here. Does look... Or a couple reactors, sorry. Uh, four hash browns there. So very well done by these guys. Both of them getting into very interesting builds. If we pull up our units tab here, we get a good idea. We do have the three Hellbats, the two Hellions, and the three Marines. Four hash browns there. Hash browns, I'm assuming, built the Hellions just for the fact that he did not have the armory up at that point in time. Because I can't imagine he was actually going to go into a Hellion heavy build. And thank goodness he did it. I was getting a little worried about you, son. Wow, another bunker. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> if he lines some tanks up down here, he can sit down here all day. Unless, of course, hash browns deter decides he's going to bring himself an air army and just massacre through everything up top here. But we'll soon find out as we do realize he is going into Hellbat and fairly heavy on the factories. Wow. Another factory going down. Oh, a couple more barracks. Okay, so just uh, one factory. So we're going to go on two factory. There's the expo building. Three barracks. So very interesting uh, build so far out of Hash Browns. Does not have any upgrades though, which is fairly interesting. He d is not building any out of there. Is not building. Does not have an engineering bay out. So I'm not too sure. Maybe he's relying on a game without upgrades. Is even getting medevacs down, which is very, very smart. So could be seeing some drops pretty soon here. Does place the barracks up on the high ground. Very good spot for it. That way you can see everything that comes by there. Uh, either that or you put some siege tanks up there. Whichever your uh, poison, pick a poison is there. It's up to you. Over here, we do have the four supply depot going, so we're definitely making sure he does not get supply blocked. No other expansions coming out. Hash Browns is a little bit behind on the expo. Does have the command center done yet, but it's not flown it off yet, so fairly interesting. Does have... <laughs> oh, God. Does have uh, two two Hellbats loaded up. Thank God he dropped those Hellions. I was really getting worried about him there. <laughs> he did have the two Hellions loaded up, but he is actually going to go with, with four Hellbats. These can be very annoying, just not very common in a T versus T game, so it could be fairly interesting here to see what ends up happening. So he is going to head him across the map here. Uh, I'm sorry, they actually are fairly common T versus T. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Anyways, he is going to move them right across the map here. Would have to imagine he's probably going to drop in the main, but there is going to be some turrets, so he is ready for this. So very, very smart about building turrets. He could get around on this side if he takes the long route of course the chance of that, that happen would be super lucky he does get part way there turned around not entirely sure what the hell he's doing maybe testing out the new engines i'm not entirely sure but he is going to sit there for a little bit and wait possibly on maybe a couple more does get scanned so this is going to tell his opponent that he did get into a hellbat build so i would have to imagine he might jump into a siege tank type build or maybe jump to air Terran doesn't jump to air very often there he goes did end up actually losing one of those medivacs full of hellbats uh so not very good at all it does appear that the widow mine would have been a portion of it Yes, what of mine did get the kill. So very, very crappy four hash browns there. Uh, did not want to see that happen there as the turrets did wear it down with the widow mine finishing up that kill. Does have the other one here. We might as well just follow this one here. I believe if I do. Oh, cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right fair enough here anyways i'm done pissing around with the keys here i got like one hand here one hand on the energy drink and i'm just pissing around all right if we look at him here he is going to float that baby in there this baby is going to slowly get right into that mineral line we'll drop down the two hellbats they're not going to do a lot there is a lot of marines over there those marines aren't doing a lot right now which is just great for uh astronauts here so he is going to get about three kills there does pick him up right away very very smart as that was pretty much walled off so the marines can get in there so pretty much uh, that was his own uh, mistake there by having all that there. Could have jumped him into that barracks right there, I guess, and shot him all. Uh, I guess that's what he gets for not having anything in that barracks. So we will fly around up to this side of the map, basically making sure that Frana does not have a third. In the meantime, Hashbron should be focusing on himself. He really does need to get that third out. <laughs> he did just realize that he had three SCBs queued, so he wasn't able to lift it off. So there he goes. He is going to lift that off. Finally get the expo out at this point. Let's take a look at our unit count here. 28 Marines, one 
Hellion. What is with these guys in building a Hellion? <laughs> okay, 34 Marines, one Hellion to the 11 Marines, one Siege, and six Halbats, and two Hellions there. So fairly even with the army so far. It is 83 to 75, as we can see here. Does have his third ready to go here. So Frana will be expanding very, very quickly here. Once he determines where he wants to land that base, is continuing to put another uh, turret up here as well as he does know that Hashbrouts is moving around doing some drops here. So very, very smart. Here he goes up here with there. He will realize there is nothing else on the map, but we'll find these two units here. So we may kill off, kill off this SCV, which will be fairly smart just in case that SCV plan on expanding up there. I can't pick up being his plan or not. He's just going to fly over it, wave on the way by there. So very well done by Hashbrouts. We'll head back to his base. Over here, that Hellion is scouting around. So he does have a use for the Hellion, does Frana. Hashbrouts on the other hand, he just built Hellions just for the sake of building Hellions. So the Hellion of uh, Frana will basically scout around the map here, make sure he knows exactly all, all the bases that are on the map for Hashbrouts. Hashbrouts does have a siege tank up on a very smart location, very smart to put a lot of siege tanks up on that high ground. The ramp just above your natural is a very, very uh, neat spot that they put on this map. Over here, it does look like that command center is going to sit there for a little while as well. So he's going to be uh, cautious before he determines to put that third out there. Do have a starport going down for him here. So we may actually start to see us some uh, air units here. But probably medevacs more than likely, but you never know. Is moving out with a lot of marines here. These marines all have combat shield, all have stim packs. So all the upgrades have gotten, except for marauder. Didn't go any marauder. Marauder is not very common in T versus T very often that you would get too heavily marauder. But... It is handy to have a few of them in your army. But, oh, he did actually expand up there. Okay, well, there you go. See, I could be wrong at all points here. I can't believe he expanded up there. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's a hidden expo. Hidden expos aren't, you know, when nobody's attacking each other, no point in putting one up there. But fair enough. You can have one up there, I guess so. He can't put an expansion on this at all there, so that starport will have to fly out of there. does have the armory built up here, but it hasn't done anything with it so far. So it does not have anything other than Marines and that one Hellion so far. So it has really gone to straight Marines. does have these SCVs here, just in case those Marines get bored. And it's going to expand there. So wow, he's getting a fourth up. Very macro heavy game uh, does Frana run here. If you look at the income tab, Frana is up by a little bit there. So obviously not keeping up with the SCV count there. As you can see, it is 39 to 39. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he plans on doing. That straight marine build isn't the smartest. I'm going to speed this baby up here as both these guys look like they have no intentions on attacking other than that one quick little drop out of Hash Browns there. So they're going to sit back for a bit. Hash Browns does have a Widow Mine buried there, so he does have one Widow Mine guarding the entrance there. He is finally going to move out of here. He will come down here, and eventually, if he runs into this, be big trouble, especially if that gets stimmed up there. But we'll soon find out which uh, direction he chooses to go. More than likely, he will head up here, but we'll soon find out. No, he might actually be looking at going around here. So very interesting. Trying to get around and maybe catch him off guard here. Wow, look at this. Very heavy on the barracks. And why not when you got four bases going here? So very, very smart. Is going to get a lot of barracks. So a lot of uh, production buildings going there. It is 116 to 109. So Hashbrons is keeping a lead. It is getting a fifth up as well. So wow, Frana really going to work there. Uh, it does have, wow, five bases. Absolutely incredible. We take a look down here. Out of the starports, he's electing to go into a reactor. So we are obviously going to get a marine medevac type build here. Uh, very, very interesting that Hashbrons has elected to wait this long. He does have a lot of Widow Mines here. does have a lot of Hellbats. He's, he's really got to start engaging at this point in time, especially when he's sitting on only two base. He's got to imagine his opponent is either with him or ahead at this point in time. So he is going to wait for everybody to get up there. He does have a couple Siege Tanks in there. I do like to see the Siege Mix in there as those Siege Tanks could be deadly, especially to a pure Marine build. He does have Widow Mines. Widow Mines are slowly going to be ones that end up moving up here one by one. I would have to imagine to make sure that he uh, he controls this, this engagement here. Here. He's basically going to try and draw his enemy into those Widow Mines. And with a team full of Marines, these Widow Mines could absolutely obliterate that army. And it could be very, very deadly. Especially if he gets them all buried up here. It is going to take the high ground. So he really plans on basically controlling this engagement. There's the scan. Just misses him. So very good scan. But it's not... Oh, he scans there too. Wow. Look at all the scans. And he is missing everything. I don't know if that's Hashbrown scanning or if that is Franny. I would have to imagine it's Franny trying to keep an eye on where his army. That one would be from Hashbrown's. So he does know what's up there now. Now he really needs to get his little mines all placed in one area, if you ask my opinion. Uh, get them down there and just bury them and then try and draw his opponent out of the base. His opponent it has... Oh, no, sorry. Those are the guys building here. They're all going to get in behind here. He has just got a massive amount of Marines. Wow, 100 Marines on the field. He is actually going through here. He's going to elect to go through the rocks. It may, might catch Hashbrowns off guard here. Hashbrowns does need to get those little ones. They are buried. Very well done. So he's going to try and get up here, walk through all these here. This army's going to come in the back. And these three little mines right here could be the, the game changer here. If he does come down here and gets close enough here, he could be very big trouble. Three of these has Here he goes. Those little mites are all gold. There goes a very good portion of the army here. If we take a look here, did get seven kills, five kills. 
and six kills. Wow, 18 kills from the Widow Mines. The rest of the Widow Mines should be able to clean this up here as he does sit in there. Oh, they don't quite. Sorry, there's only one more Widow Mine there. Does need to scan here or he will get out of the range there. So very well done there. Wow, they really did hurt a very big there. A lot of Marines moving across the map at this point in time. Could be very big trouble for Hasbrouks. Does have the one random siege tank there, which does get blown up. Just way too many bases. Wow, mules dropping like crazy here. So very well done as far as the macro game goes for Franny. Franny is going to move in here. Don't know if he's going to have enough. Oh, he actually should have enough here. His hash browns hasn't built up an army yet. If he can get those widow mines buried right at the top of the rat, maybe get like six or seven up there. Could be very devastating. Four will be very deadly. Does have the upgrade to bury him in one second as you did see that go down very quick. Is finally learning. He's sending marines in one by one, so he should be looking to draw the fire up each one of them. Hash browns needs to get those siege tanks positioned at this point in time. Ah, I tell you, I like that monster energy drink. I actually drink all energy drinks. And no, I'm not sponsored by Monster. <laughs> I just thought I'd read out the name. It's pretty cool. It is actually called Baller's Blend. Uh, first time I've ever seen that one. I try all energy drinks. All right. Getting some more barracks. Apparently did not feel he had enough barracks on the field here. <laughs> just has a crap ton of barracks. Has the two there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, actually, did he, oh, he flew most of, or he actually lost them all from there. Okay, so he has about 10 so far with those other three. So actually, is going to look to drop now. Very, very smart move. 32 Marines should be in each of these, so very good. Not in each, but all together. So this should be a fairly hefty drop. We'll get it in here. Does have a lot of standing SCVs, does hash browns. So a lot of idle SCVs. Not entirely sure where they're going to. All right, there we go. Now we're going to start this drop off here. Did leave those other Marines up here. Does have a lot of Widow Mines. Very smart. Those Widow Mines will be very deadly. If he gets the drop up here, could be in big trouble. He is going to get over the base. A lot of turrets there. These turrets could... No, they might get some there, but he is going to get everybody dropped off just in time there. So these Marines are really going to go to work at this point in time. Hash Browns, I'm not entirely sure what he's going to do to counter this. Does get those other Widow Mines up there. They're going to stand there and bury this. There he goes. Doesn't get much kills. One kill each there. They're going to start to go through the main base of Hash Browns here. This could be great big trouble. Hash Browns only has one tank and the four Marines. Other than that, he has a lot of Widow Mines. 17 Widow Mines all together. But that might not be enough because those Widow Mines are nowhere near the, the upper ramp here. They have no Widow Mines in the natural here. They're just melting those SCVs as quick as they can get to the Marines here. So they're going to melt through this uh, natural quite easily there. There's the rest of the Marines. He basically loses pretty much all of them or all their hit points to those Widow Mines here. He's going to run off realizing these guys should be enough to clean up this base here. Can't pitch your hash browns coming out of this uh, unless those Widow Mines end up holding off and killing the rest. And they probably will, especially if he doesn't get a scan here. There goes another big hit for him there. So very well done there. Look at them all. Where are they all positioned here? Does have a lot over here. Wow! Takes out all the medevacs. He's still had them all sitting at the base. There's the scan finally. He did need that scan there. Uh, hopefully he gets these ones before they recharge there, which he should be able to do quite easily. So very good scan for him there. Oh, he's going to lose the whole army over here pretty much. They end up losing most of them. They're going to head back to base here. That is retreat time for him, but did take out, did take a good bite out of Hash Browns there. Hash Browns really doesn't have a whole heck of a lot left at this point in time. Hashbron finally says GG, realizing he's probably not going to come back from that. Frana says GG, very good game for both of you. My congrats to Frana, my condolences to you, Hash Browns. If you're going to cook on the left side of the oven and you're going to raise the upper roof to where the window goes, please don't let me see you put the Christmas lights up, especially when January doesn't know where the daylight is. Thanks so much for watching. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.